the mixture which shows negative deviation from Raoult's law is? The options are benzene plus toluene, acetone plus ethanol, chlorobenzene plus bromobenzene, water plus nitric acid. Students among the given options, the last option that is water plus nitric acid shows negative deviation from Raoult's law because there is a decrease in the vapor pressure as well as in the total volume of the solution because of the increase in the intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules of water as well as nitric acid. On the other hand, if I talk about benzene and toluene and chlorobenzene and bromobenzene, these two forms ideal solution. On the other hand, mixture of acetone and ethanol shows positive deviation from Raoult's law. Here I am writing negative deviation from Raoult's law. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question. A tertiary butyl free radical is more stable than a secondary butyl free radical because of which of the following? Option A plus R effect of CH3 group. Option B minus R effect of CH3 group. Option C hyperconjugation and the last option is minus I effect of CH3 group. Student first of all, we are talking about tertiary butyl free radical. This is more stable than secondary butyl, secondary butyl free radical is this. So, we are saying that if we compare the stability of these two, then this third butyl free radical will be more stable than this secondary butyl free radical and we have to answer the reason for this order of stability. So, the correct reason is that because of these three methyl groups, there will be more hyperconjugative structures. As a result, the stability of tert butyl free radical will be more. Since we know more is the number of alpha hydrogen, more will be the hyperconjugation effect. As a result, more will be the stability. That means the correct answer is option C hyperconjugation. Moving to the next question, let us read it. Find the solubility of magnesium hydroxide in 0.1 molar NaOH solution. We are given with the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide which is 1.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 11. Student, this is a case of common ion effect. We have to calculate the solubility of magnesium hydroxide. We are given with a KSP value but the solution already contains 0.1 molar NaOH. That means OH minus that is hydroxide ion is common in the solution. Students, since we know that NaOH dissociates completely into Na plus and OH minus ion, we are given with 0.1 molar NaOH. That means this is also 0.1 molar and this is also 0.1 molar. Now, students, magnesium hydroxide dissociates to give magnesium 2 plus plus 2 OH minus. I am taking the solubility of magnesium hydroxide as S mole per liter. So, this will be S mole per liter, this will be 2 S plus 0 0.1 from here from NaOH. Now, students we know that KSP is equals to concentration of magnesium ion multiplied by concentration of hydroxide ion raised to the power 2. Let us put the values here, the value of KSP that was given 1.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 is equals to S since here the concentration of magnesium ion we have taken as S and here it will be 2S plus 0.1. But students 2S plus 0.1 is approximately I am taking this approximately equals to plus 1. Since the value of solubility is very very small as compared to 0.1. So, here I am taking 0.1 square that means solubility is equals to 1.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 upon 0 0.01 which is equals to 1.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 molar. That means the correct answer is option number C. Moving to the next question students, which of the following statements is incorrect? Students in this question we are given with 4 statements and we have to identify the incorrect one. So, let us start with the first statement. 
sodium stearate acts as a soap student this is a correct statement as sodium stearate is c17 h35 coona and this is a soap moving to the next statement cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide is an anionic detergent student this is an incorrect statement as cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide is a cationic detergent as cationic detergents are quaternary ammonium salts of amines with chlorides bromides or acetates as anions moving to next liquid dishwashing detergents are non ionic type student this is also a correct statement non ionic detergents are used as liquid dishwashers moving to the last statement detergents cause water pollution student this is also a correct statement as the highly branched carbon chain in detergents cannot be easily degraded by bacteria and their accumulation causes water pollution that means the correct answer for this question is option number b moving to the next question let's read it the freezing point depression constant that is kf of ethanol is 1.99 kelvin kg per mole the freezing point depression that is delta tf for the solution of concentration 0.075 molal containing a non electrolyte solute in ethanol is students we are given with options 0.75 kelvin next is 0.15 kelvin next is 1.25 kelvin and the last is 1.75 kelvin students here we are given with kf that is freezing point depression constant for ethanol which is 1.99 kelvin kg per mole we are also given with the molality of the solution molality is equals to 0.075 molal we have to calculate delta tf and the formula to calculate delta tf is i into kf into molality since we are already given with a non electrolyte solute that means the value of i is 1 so 1 into kf which is 1.99 multiplied by molality which is 0.075 which is equals to 0.15 kelvin student i have already multiplied this you people please avoid using calculator initially it will take more time but eventually the time will be decreased and your accuracy level will be increased so the correct answer is option b moving to the next question